The interface of Capture One is essentially divided into four different areas. Tool tabs with tools to the left, viewer in the center, browser to the right, and the toolbar at the top which also contains the cursor tools. The tools are divided into tool tabs for different categories of tools. The library tab contains tools for managing and filtering your images. The camera tab is for tethered workflows where you can connect a camera to your computer. The lens tab contains cropping rotation and lens correction tools. The color tab contains tools for adjusting colors and white balance, including the black and white tool. The exposure tab contains tools for adjusting exposure, brightness, and contrast. The details tab includes sharpening and noise reduction tools. The adjustments tab contains presets and styles as well as the adjustments clipboard. The metadata tab includes annotations, keywords, and metadata. The output tab is where you create and adjust process recipes for controlling powerful exporting features. And the last tab is the batch queue, which contains both a list of images added to the queue and a history of images that have been processed. The browser shows available images in the current collection as chosen in the library tool. The viewer shows the currently selected image from the browser on the right hand side. With the pan cursor tool selected, I can double click to zoom in to 100%, pan around of course, and double click to zoom back out. Alternatively, the icons in the top right hand corner of the viewer can also be used to zoom to 100% and to fit screen, or any other zoom level in between. The toolbar contains various action buttons that we can click on and off, for example, to view our exposure warnings. In the center, we have the cursor tools, which change the behavior of the cursor. This could be anything from a simple select tool to the pan tool, which we saw earlier, or indeed the crop tool. To crop, you simply need to click drag and also right click to choose different aspect ratios. The crop tool will stay active until we choose a different cursor tool, for example, the pan tool. Most of the tools in Capture One work in a similar way. Drag a slider to adjust it. To preview the effect of a slider, long press on the name itself. And to reset any slider to zero, simply double click on it. Each tool has a couple of standard features linked to them via the icons in the top. The question mark takes you directly to a Capture One help site explaining the tool. The A is for auto adjusting the tool. The double sided arrow is a tool based copy apply feature, which can be handy for quick selective copying. The rounded arrow resets the entire tool. The hamburger menu contains presets for the tool, while the three dots function as a sub menu with additional tool based features. The interface in Capture One is highly customizable. Watch our tutorial on how to customize your workspace for more information.